Hiya, you okay? So this is the second bird for the range and domains. I've got a really sore ear, which is not nice. Uh, and I've got f of x is x to the 4. But if you look, it's got a restricted domain. I'm using from 1 to 2. Right, so don't draw this little bit. x to the 4 looks like x squared. So if it was unrestricted, the domain would be all the real numbers and the range would be uh, greater than or equal to 0. But I'm restricting it to between 1 and 2. So I don't want any of this graph here. So hopefully you've not drawn that because I told you not to. There. So I'm going from 1 through to 2. But you can actually do that on your calculator. I'll probably get it wrong now showing you. All uh, right, let's give it a go. So if I do menu 5, if I do x power 4, graph it, there, there it is. Kind of funny looking. Uh, so I need to change my axes a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of restrict it. So if I remember rightly, I do a, I'm about to get this wrong now, a comma. It has to be a square bracket, uh, but I've lost where my square brackets are now. I think it's on the plus. So shift plus. And then I'm starting at one, and then I'm finishing at two. And then I need to close the square bracket. I should really have tried this before I did it, make sure it does it. Uh, but it's all oh, could go wrong. Oh, there you go. Look, let me just change that a little bit. <clears throat> there, so it shows you my graph. I'll change the x to zero. There. So it gives me that part, that portion of the graph that I want. Now, I need to make sure that I check my y values that go with that. So if I put 1 in to x to the 4, I get 1 out. If I put 2 in, I get 16 out, 2, 4, 8, 16. So my range, boing, so it says, draw the dotted bit. So don't need to draw the whole thing and then just draw the bit you want. You don't need to do that, that's fine, because your calculator will do that. So range would be the, the f of x belongs to the real numbers and I'm going between 1 and 16 there. So you've got x squared minus 4 so if I draw x squared minus 4 I know it looks like that. I think they kind of are saying about doing the dotted bit uh, just so you can see what it's all going between. Now I want it from minus 1, so minus 1 is there, through to 3. Ooh, is 3 going to make it positive? So 3 now, as it is, is an x, so 3 is going to be there. So I kind of want in between there and there. So if I just delete it off, <coughs> the bit I want. So I put it on the calculator to so show you that I'm not making it up. Uh, where's my calc? So I'm doing... x squared minus 4 between minus 1 and 3. To sort my axes out, make sure I get a decent picture. So I'm doing, so x min, I want from minus 1.1. .1. Max, I need to just go to 3.5, so uh, I need it to cover down to about minus 5 and then probably just needs about 8 there doesn't it let's have a look at that if you get a nice picture yeah there you go so you can kind of see the graph that you've got now with this one here's my issue hang on so let me put this back on here so with this one here I put 1 in, I got 1 out. I put 2 in, I got 16 out. If I put minus 1 in, I get minus 5 out. So I know that when, when x is minus 1, it gives me... Uh, no, it doesn't. It gives me minus 3 out. And if I put x as 3 in, 
it gives me five out. So I know that's okay. But here's my issue. If I just use the minus three for the y, I'm only doing that little part there. So what I've done is I've missed this here. So I've got to be careful if I'm just using the x values at either end, I need to make sure that the graph doesn't drop below it in between. So if I just use the x values from the ends of the domain, I need to check the graph. doesn't go beyond it. So I'd think, if I put minus 1 in, I think it goes from minus 3 to 5, but it doesn't. It actually goes from minus 4 to 5. So my range, I'll put a bit more room in down here. <clears throat> so if I'm not careful, I think the range is minus 3 through to 5, but it's actually it's actually minus 4 to 5 there. So be really careful with that, because got, people got caught out on an exam quest paper once. When we put in them, we got so used to putting in the numbers at the end, the minus one and the three. The graph dipped down below it, so you missed out like a chunk of y values that worked. So really it should be minus four to five with that one. So you've got to be really, really, really careful with that. So look on the next page. So there's another example. So I might stop it there again and do another bit.